Hello everybody. Well, as you know, it's been a very long week and I've been to all four schools in the Federation and now I can reveal what our massive, huge poem for World Book Day actually looks like. We've all been working on the theme of curious creatures and each school has produced a very small part of the poem to make it a big poem today. So before we start, a big shout out to everybody at St Peter's and everybody at St John's Hindley Green and to Hindley Green. And of course, finishing up today where I was at St John's Abram, uh, I can now reveal this is our poem. <clears throat> the world is full of curious creatures. Here are our favourites and some of their features. Elephants are large, floppy-eared beasts, immense herbivores with big, strong tusks. Then there's the towering giraffes with their elegant spotty necks. Gigantic, humongous, huge and long. Then the beautiful golden lion giving chase with its shaggy mane. Fierce carnivores with bushy tails roaring as they go. Now the monkeys are mischievous, wacky, weird and loud, crazy, climbing party animals with their sneaky, cheeky ways. We love the cute and playful meerkats, digging and jumping with their googly eyes. But we fear the long, skinny snake with its bumpy, scaly skin, slithering, camouflaged in a scary way. We see evil, cold-hearted brown bears, colossal and plump, outrageous in action, massive, hairy and scary. And we know the rhino is dangerous, sturdy, aggressive and thick, with its rough grey skin and sharp, deadly horns. Now the lone wolf is vicious and stealthy, howling in the dark of a moonlit night. But the fearless, feathery eagle is beady-eyed, swift and dangerous, with its shockingly strong talons, whilst the sneaky tiger is brave and fierce, with orange and black stripes, sharp claws shining brightly in the night. The world is full of curious creatures, and those were just some that we told to our teachers. You should be extremely proud of yourselves, everybody. It was a loads and loads of fun working with you and it was great to visit so many different people and come into your classrooms and for you to tell me all of the stuff you've been learning for World Book Day. I'm hoping you're having a fantastic time. If you're dressing up today, great. If you're dressing up tomorrow, brilliant. Uh, whatever you're doing, have a fantastic time. Keep reading because the more you read, the better you can write. And the better you can write, the better you can spell and you know full well how important that is. So have a great time. Um, hopefully I'll see you very, very soon and uh, yeah, see you soon.